DeepSeek is back and this time with the 685 billion parameter model that they have open sourced it on Hugging Face. This is the latest model from DeepSeek, DeepSeek V3.2 and the biggest jump in this model's performance is that the model is on par with GPT-5 and also Gemini 3.0 Pro. The best thing about this particular model is this model is open made so you can take this model, try to do fine tuning, try to run it on your own hardware. So DeepSeek not only just open sourced the model but they also open sourced the secret recipe with which they build the model it means there's a technical paper this is something that you don't see every day from us based companies but deep seek has decided to share it openly so that people can learn how they have built the model so now about this particular model in itself as i said this is a 685 billion parameter model the model is built on three primary principles or they call it technical breakthrough the first one they've got something called deep seek sparse attention deep seek sparse attention helps the attention mechanism and transformers but it also substantially reduces the computational complexity so when you have a transformers model when you have the long context the context window increasing the model requires a lot more computation but deep seeks dsa deep seek sparse attention is optimized for this so that means you don't need a lot of computation even when you are increasing the complexity the next thing is scalable reinforcement learning framework if you have listened to the recent podcast ada from anjik arpati art ilias or one thing that you might have noticed that their emphasis on reinforcement learning not just on pre-training and what deep seek has done here is that they have figured out a way to scale reinforcement learning so that means they have built a reinforcement learning protocol and they've also scaled the post training computer so it so that means deep seek v3.2 has a performance that is comparable to gpt5 and also a higher computer version of deep seek v3.2 which they're calling it a special surpasses gpt5 and also has a performance on par with gemini 3.0 pro and this model also has a performance similar to the OpenAI's flagship model and Google's flagship model, which has got gold medal performance in 2025, International Mathematical Olympiad and International Olympiad in Informatics, IOI and IMO. So this is a, probably one of the very few models in this entire world where it has got a gold medal level performance, but still you have the recipe, the secret sauce of how they went about building the model. I mean, truly open science and research. And finally, DeepSeek has built a large-scale agentic task synthesis pipeline. So one thing that you might have heard again and again is that we're going to run out of pre-training data. So what are we going to do? Once we run out of pre-training data, or if people are going to stop using SACO or Flow, what are we going to do to build coding models? This is a question that has been there around for a very long time. And what DeepSeek has done is to integrate their reasoning into two use scenarios. They have designed their own synthesis pipeline. That actually generates, systematically generates training data at scale. Or if you see that this is like a great model to, across all the benchmarks. AMD 2085, HMMD 2085, Code Forces, which is like a heavy competitive programming benchmark, Sweet Bench Verified, and then you have Potominal Bench 2.0 for Agent Ticker Task, and then you have Garda Tau Bench. Across all these benchmarks, you can see their Deep Seek V3.2, which is the higher uh, compute model. And then you can see Deep Seek V3.2 Thinking, which is slightly lower level compute that is required, but also it's a thinking model. Both these models have got performance on par or at least like exceeding with GPT-5 high in terms of special. And also it's got like performance closer to Gemini 3.0 Pro. So across all these benchmarks, I would say like this is a very, very strong model. If I told you to think that they've done benchmark maxing, let's say like they've they done benchmark hacking, benchmark maxing, I don't think they would have shared the secret sauce openly like this. I don't also think that their model would have gone ahead and then won gold medal level performance. Adi Wara, this is a great release. There is a lot more for us to go through the paper and then loan from it. But for now, DeepSeek is back. The Blue Bill is back. You can go chat with the DeepSeek model here. You can go to chat.deepseek.com and then chat with the model. Let me know what do you think about this model. Thanks to DeepSeek for open sourcing model. See you in video. Happy prompting. If you enjoyed this video, this is what we do here. Fast, clear updates on the biggest moves in AI. If you want to stay ahead of everything happening in this space, make sure you subscribe.